They say all good things must come to an end, so, by all accounts, Randy Redux should go on forever. Season 9 of Radio Redux unofficially started with show 201, the old acquaintance show, on December 18th, 2016, our special then one-off surprise appearance in that year's Winterfest. Several Winterfests and other specials later, including Radio Sega's 10 years live celebration, Radio Redux would come back as an irregular addition to Sunday nights as part of the LMC block with show 207, The Triple Troubled Show. That was June 7th, 2020. Now, historically, Radio's Redux seasons have always been defined by a year, from around the start of April to the weekend closest to my birthday on February the 9th. So, to have a season stretch for what is now over five years is, shall we say, pushing it. It's now a couple of weeks removed from my 39th birthday. Yes, I'm old now, thanks for pointing it out. And it's time to draw a line under nine and put Radio Redux to bed for a while. A time to rethink, refresh, rejuvenate and deal with other priorities, which I'll touch on later. For now, though, and to round things off for this season, today's theme is official Sega remixes, but ones you probably don't think about, can't remember, and just maybe have never heard at all. Hello everybody, and welcome to Radio Redux Show 236. Run the titles. Yes, Radio Redux time again, everybody, and we're kicking off straight away with Knights. Anyone remember the official Knights remix album? Probably not. This is under construction, Wow Wow 70s mix. And sorry, Dave Looty, there's not any pair of trousers in sight.
That was the Tyler Smith remix, or is it Tyler Smythe remix, of Crash 40's Green Light Ride from Team Sonic Racing. You should expect to hear a lot of Jensen and I on this show, which is perhaps not surprising under the circumstances. Before that, as I said, was Under Construction, the Wow Wow 70s mix from Go Katsura and Koshinora Miura from the 1997 album Night's Remix Another Dreams. A lot's changed since 1997, hasn't it? Some of you listening quite possibly weren't even alive then, and that's a scary prospect. Even going back to when this season started, things have changed in the industry oh so very much. Even the last two months have been something of a roller coaster. And as much as people really like when I take a topic and give it a serious grilling, I've just not had the time, or indeed the energy in some cases, to get around to them. I've not really talked about Activision Blizzard and the curious case of Bobby Kotick, a man who, every time you look at him, you find any hope or admiration or belief in the video game industry has decayed slightly more, like he's the twisted living embodiment of the porch of Dorian Gray. He daren't look back on his own activities, lest he, I assume, collapse into a slimy pile of skeletal bits fallen out of his nearest closet. Coated in secrets and lies, the foul smell of abuse of power, and liberally sprinkled with microtransaction receipts, presumably. Up next, we have the Sega 60th Anniversary Official Bootleg DJ Mix album, 
That's a mouthful. And Fantasy Zone, Oppa Oppa GMT Remix. The second track, well, we had Team Sonic Racing, so how about some supersonic racing? Thank <laughs> you. 
for 15 years, bringing you the best in video game music. This is Radio Redux. That last track was from Sonic Generations Radical Highway Act 2, Avengers is Mine, Circuit Freak Remix. And before that, the second track was from Sonic R, the extra club mix of TJ Davis singing as Super Sonic Racing. And that was again from 1997. We didn't get on to the topic of NFTs this season. Thank God. Much as it would have been nice to really let rip on those, here we have what is the germ of a good idea quickly revealed to be a disaster and provide opportunities not to creatives. But where the only ones who benefit are the ones who seemingly are already well off. Or scam merchants or snake oil salesmen. Oh, and of course they help damage the environment too. Super. Everyone seems to have utterly lost their minds when it's come to the NFTs, haven't they? From a video game point of view, you've got Konami hawking bits of Castlevania history under the guise of preservation. Team 17, which is a pretty recent one, looking to profit at the time when their workforce are suffering from alleged poor working conditions and have to back down from their own NFT project, which looked awful as anything anyway. There's NFTs from Ubisoft in the form of Quartz, which rings massive alarm bells, mainly because it's got the words Ubisoft involved in it. Then there's Square Enix, who think all of us that believe NFTs are bad are just picking on the poor people who want to buy them. Speaking in a letter from January the 1st, 2022, President Yosuke Matsuda told readers, I would realise that some people who play for fun and who currently form the majority of players, have voiced their reservations towards these new trends, and understandably so. However, I believe that there will be a certain number of people whose motivation is to play to contribute, by which I mean to help make the game more exciting. Traditional gaming has offered no explicit incentive to this latter group of people, who are motivated strictly by such inconsistent personal feelings as goodwill and volunteer spirit. Well, I personally prefer the definition on Twitter by an A.G. Willow, who described them as an ecological nightmare pyramid scheme. I'm sorry, Matsuda-san, if this means I'm making things worse for the poor pro-NFT crowd. Funny, then, that poor doesn't seem to be the word you're thinking of here, is it? More like rich. Because ultimately, this pathetic excuse is just that, an excuse. It's not about catering to an audience. Square was not taken care of. It's about catering to a revenue stream you weren't taking advantage of. And damn everything and everyone else. Actually, speaking of Paul, one thing we haven't got round to also, and it almost surprises me that we hadn't, uh, is the thing that pissed me off the most recently. Yes, Sega, Sonic fans out there, our old acquaintance, because we can't exactly call him a friend, Ken Penders reared his head again, taking time out from his busy schedule creating his comic book magnum opus to let you know he's making NFTs of quote-unquote his quote-unquote characters that you lucky people can pick up for the low, low price of $100,000. Yep, the Lara Sue Chronicles, a project he announced in December 2011. Just to remind you. <sighs> Honestly, in the last decade he's had to work on this, my little fan comic has literally retired for years, come back, and has somehow put out more content than he has. In fact, his content looks so bad, it looks like I drew it. Spoiler, I can't draw. Anyway, never mind, because you, yes, you, could get your hands on the likes of Scourge and Julie Sue, or as he puts it, Julie Sue, a.k.a. Shade. Yes, NFTs of them, because in Ken's weird little mind, he thinks he owns Shade because of Sonic Chronicles. Shade, a character created by someone else that just happens to be a female echidna because this non-fungible toss pot made one once so he owns the concept of gender or sex for an entire species, he thinks. <sighs> but don't worry, he again apparently owns quote-unquote green knuckles. You know, knuckles the echidna, but green. 
So he also presumably owns the concept of recolors. Oh, bad news, Lake 2000 Sonic Forum goes, he's coming after you! Though, considering his ability to colour, and his art looks like it was hit by a terrible accident in a Dulux factory, I'm reasonably certain if he did, even you wouldn't recognise your characters. It takes a special kind of person to complain, on the one hand, about ownership of fictional characters' intellectual property, while in the same breath trying to sell someone else's for $100,000. But anyway, this artistic vampire will soon be back, no doubt, to try and make a fast buck to fund his non-existent career. After all, there's a Paramount TV series for Knuckles in the works. FYI, I'm reasonably sure their lawyers are more organised than the one Sega hired that was so hopeless the judge lambasted them for their absolute ineptitude. So you go right ahead, buddy, when they do. You show them what for. Lawyer up. Meanwhile, I'd like to announce my personal NFT of Ken Penders with a penis drawn on his head, which is my original character, by the way, and I'll be selling for a multi-pack of Cadbury's Freddos, or for him to just piss the hell off, whichever is easier.
On iTunes, Spotify and Radio Sega, you're listening to Radio Redux. A few tracks for you there. First up was Open Your Heart from Sonic Adventure, once again performed by Crush 40. But that was the K-Club remix, which is found in a number of places, but most know it from the album True Colours, The Best of Sonic the Hedgehog Part 2. Second was that Jun Sonoy I promised you, Sega Rally Championship JS Kickstart Remix 99, which you can find on Jun's first volume of The Works. Lastly, what you heard was... Anyone guess? It was a remix of If We Ever Meet from Sega More specifically, the 2001 Collection Red album. There's also a Collection Blue for those that are interested. We've got a couple of tracks left to play, but uh, we'll have those at the end of the show naturally enough. Time to address why this is going away for a while. Um... This isn't really been planned out, but uh, the truth of the matter is, it's been a bit of a rough year. Um, it's been a really rough year for all of us, in the last couple of years to be precise. But uh, in particular, for me, it has been uh, not not the best of not the best of times. Uh, for those that recall, back in May, I was hospitalised for a, uh, a brief time. And uh, what happened and what caused me to be hospitalised wasn't very nice, to put it mildly. Uh, And it did a whole heap of damage to me, to to my um, intestines and the downwards. Uh, (laughs) I I need surgery, guys. I need to go off and have surgery. That's something that I need to do. It's going to be something um, that... Uh, potentially has consequences. Not life and death consequences, thank goodness. Um, I know that what's going on um, and what's been causing uh, problems, been all sorts of things done, biopsies taken and and whatnot, and there's nothing cancerous or anything like that, which is obviously fantastic news. And uh, the other bits of me are in fine fettle. I continue to be told that I have uh, superb blood pressure. I know I was astounded as well, uh, but uh, I'm going to go and have this surgery, which is, in the grand scheme of things, quite minor. But at the same time, uh, there are risks involved, which, if it goes a bit pear-shaped, um, it's sort of life-changing in terms of, hey, your ability to go and do things is very much limited. Uh, It's by no means ideal, to put it mildly, Um, but the alternative is the situation which I've been in for the last, as we say, nine months, where um, I've been in an awful lot of pain, Uh, my ability to go and do things has been very restricted anyway, Um, I can't really digest food that well um and the the end result the end result has been um a lot of pain a lot of blood and a situation whereby you know things can't carry on as they are for quality of life reasons um, that's surgery one. Surgery two um, is the thing that I've been dealing with for the best part of wow, two two years. Oh, okay, since so this in itself has been going, so the, the, other, the other thing's been going on since the end of end of May. So that's you know eight nine months, nine months. Uh, yeah, say nine months. Um. The other thing I've been dealing with two years, which is <laughs> by my reduced ability to breathe, which um, is something of a problem. Um, my nose is screwy, and half of it doesn't work properly, um, which means that I get very out of breath. There's a whole lot of stuff that ends up going into my lungs, and if I talk for a long period of time, you might notice this on some of the pe- some of the um, episodes that we've had, you know, previously. Um, my voice starts going quite sort of gurgly and gurg- and gargly. Um, there's a whole heap of <laughs> crap going on, um, which um, yeah, there's, there's something there. 
basically there's a, a, some sort of some sort of lump or polyp or something which is really screwing uh, with my ability to breathe and my left nostril is basically blocked entirely uh, and has been for the most of the last two years so doing something where I'm really really focusing on speaking and talking for long periods of time isn't very good uh, so this is so with one if not two surgeries planned um, one of which that I will need to take uh, I'll be, I'm gonna end up probably be signed off work and other stuff because it's like I say it's quite um, uh, it's quite uh, it's okay simple but complicated uh, and the other one where it's hey you know the ability to breathe and speak and stuff in a comfortable way it's time to put the show to to bed for a little while it allows me to take stock because like I said there's this season 10 thing you know we've got a show where the show name has an x at the end and we're coming up to season 10 you don't think i'm not going to use that do you but i think it'll be interesting to see how you guys take this show a show that has been a little bit more scripted than most a show where we focus a little bit more on specific topics um and really went after uh, some things there's a whole heap of uh, themed shows that i've still got to get through at some point I need to get back to doing the second half of the sort of doctors and health games show the collection that we were going through there's that but you've got plenty to keep you going on with you've got obviously got the fantastic sega mixer drive following this if you're listening to this as it goes out on radio sega from rexy and you have the rest of the lmc block because i'm delighted to tell you that as i am recording this the boys are literally actually just starting their game their first game of the 2022 season of lmc cast so you've got that to look forward to as a regular item who knows there may be the odd little show here and there for radio redux if there's something very specific i've got lots of things to look forward to like western supersonic next week um so i wouldn't be about that weekend generally anyway but um there's there's that who knows i might do a, a little bit of recording and uh, we'll uh, have that another time um there's plans for uh, a number of like i mentioned a number of themed shows but there are those jazz shows uh, and the musical themed shows uh, the music genre themed shows that uh, i want to do which is a little bit more bluesy a little bit more a bit more jazz and like i say um I jokingly referred to it as Radio Redux After Dark, which I know somebody else did for for other things. You know, would you like to sit down, everybody, and enjoy the sultry sound of my voice as we go for Radio Redux After Dark? Welcome. Run the titles. Yeah, it it would never do that. But there might still be the odd the odd sort of special here and there. But unlike previous seasons of radio redux i honestly don't know when this will be back um it's usually like a couple of months again this is again the whole sort of maybe sort of start in april or the very latest the beginning of may but i don't think that's going to be the case this time it's probably going to go away for a while but such is the way of things. And so we need to start thinking about what comes next. Well, what comes next for you is two tracks. The first one is from the uh, Sonic Riders Speed Beats Grand Prix album. So we're going back to 2006 here. Yes, it's some Rumble B and Catch Me If You Can, but it's the Rockin' Beats mix. Which again is probably one you don't think of that often when it comes to um, Sonic music. In fact, you don't really think of Rumblebee at all, really, do you, at this point? Anyway, um, there's that. And then afterwards, we've got a version of Run Through the Speed Highway. It's the hybrid mix. Those are your final two tracks to round things off. 
Next week, as I say, with the return of LMC cast on the LMC block, Radio Redux will be back for season 10 at some point down the line, and who knows what little changes we have in store. Up next, of course, is Sega Mixer Drive. If you're listening to this on Radio Sega, please stick around for that. And you can, of course, catch me on various other things in the meantime. I'm not stopping streaming on twitch.tv forward slash last minute continue or doing all the various things I continue to do on our YouTube channel and on lastminutecontinue.com. Thank you very much for your support over the last however long it's been, uh, and more specifically over the last hour. But until next time, see you then, everybody. Bye for now. There's no turning back. Reach but never catch. You can't find that. Wonders you can't have. Wonders you can't have. Wonders you can't have. Wonders you can't have. Wonders you can't have.